Hello, Miss Steele here. So this week we are talking about patterns. And pattern is any line, shape, or color that repeats itself again and again. So we're gonna make our own pattern mittens, kind of like what I have right here. But we're gonna turn up the volume a little bit and we're gonna make a background as well. So you want a white paper where you're gonna draw your mittens. We're actually gonna cut them out. So you want scissors and glue. You want a pencil and an eraser, something to color in with. I have crowns and markers, but you can use what you have. And then you want a colored piece of paper, and this is going to be our background. So I'm actually going to make our background first, and we're going to add a pattern to it. And because it's winter time, and we're doing mittens, I'm going to make my pattern like a flannel background. So for this, you want to grab out a few colors. I think I'm going to do black and maybe two blues, maybe red. So to make this, we're going to add a bunch of straight lines and a few different patterns. So I'm going to start out with my black one first. And I'm going to add it going at an angle. And I'm going to try to space them out evenly or as evenly as I can make it. So there's the same amount of space in between. And I'm trying to draw as straight as possible for my lines, like that. So I have my first lines down. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my blues, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in a different kind of line. So I'm gonna put them a little closer together and then I'm going to come in with my next blue and put it right next to it. So it's a different kind of line because there's two lines next to each other. And I'm going to make them right next to each other like that. So now we have two different styles of patterns in the background making one big pattern. And now I'm going to turn my paper because I'm going to make my next lines going the other way. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my red and I'm going to make this a thicker line. So I'm going to put two or three lines using my marker right next to each other so I can have a thicker line like that. And I'm going to do that as well. Like this. And I think I'm going to add in another color here at the end because I think it could use something else. So I'm going to finish up with my red lines that I'm making thicker, and then we're going to move on to our last color. So for my last color, I think I'm going to use orange. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bunch of lines really close together, and that's going to finish off our flannel pattern. So we have lines going every direction. So I'm going to keep adding in my orange lines right next to each other, and then our background will be finished. All right, so I finished with my orange lines. So we have our two lines next to each other with the blue. We have our black lines spaced out going this way. We have our orange lines closer together going this way, and then our red lines. So I'm going to set this aside, and we're going to start with our mittens. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to cut out two mittens using the same shape, and to do that, I'm going to fold this. So I'm making for sure my edges touch, and then I'm squishing this down. And to draw our mittens, we're going to start out with the base of our mitten. And for that, you want to draw two straight lines next to each other, right at the bottom of your paper. And then on the ends, we're going to add a rounded line, almost like half of a U. And now we have the bottom part of our mittens. So now we need to draw the top part. And for this, I bring up one long curved line. And then instead of it bringing it all the way down, we're going to bring it down and we're going to stop because we want somewhere for our thumb to go in. So then we bring it around, and then one more curved line like that. So I came up, over, down, 
and then I went around again so I can get the area where your thumb goes in your mittens. So now what I'm going to do is while this is still folded, I'm going to cut it out. And because I'm folding it and cutting it this way, it's going to make two of the exact same shape for me. So then my mittens are identical, meaning that they're exactly the same. So like that, now I have two mittens that match each other. So what I can do now is I can start decorating my mittens. And what we want to do with our mittens is we want to try to hide in some patterns. Because we're talking about pattern this week, we're going to be adding patterns to our mittens. You can add a line right here where this is a separate area. And you can decorate your mittens with whatever patterns you like. But I think for my patterns, I have these two pattern sheets. And I think I'm going to make my bottom look like sprinkles. And then I'm going to do some sort of striped pattern for my top. And then we'll be able to take these and glue them onto our beautiful background, however we would like. So I'm going to set this aside, and I'm going to start working on the patterns for my mittens. And I'm going to pick out which colors I want to use. I think I'm going to use some lighter colors for these mittens. And now I can start decorating them. So again, you want one pattern on the bottom, and then you want to sneak in at least two patterns on the mittens. But once you start working with patterns, you'll see that they kind of just start to show up. So you think you might not have enough patterns, but you probably do if you're adding in stripes and stars or something else. So I'm going to work on getting my sprinkle patterns on the bottom of this. And to do that, I'm going to add little ovals all over, little skinny ovals going every which way. And that's going to be my pattern that looks like sprinkles. And I'm using the same colors, and then I'm repeating the same shape, and that is what's helping me make my pattern. So I'm going to finish up my bottom of these, and then we'll be able to move on and start working on this top part. Okay, so I have a pattern on the bottom, and now I'm going to start working on the patterns for these. And I'm going to try to sneak in a few different patterns. I think what I'm going to do first is I'm going to make this area its own section. And I'm going to hide some patterns in there. And for this one, I think I'm going to do stars. And I'm going to color the background. But first, I'm adding in my stars. The lighting on this is a little off. But I'm going to work on adding in stars for right here. Again, you can use the same exact patterns as me if you want, or you can make up your own. So now I have one pattern. I think I'm also going to add in some stripes, kind of coming out from right here. So I have one, two, three four lines. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other sides. One, two, three, four. So now I have another pattern, but I want to turn up the volume on this, like I said, and I'm going to do that by adding in even more patterns. And I think I'm going to add patterns in these stripes that I made. And then I'm going to go back and color in the background. So for this one, I'm just doing a triangle pattern. And then I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to do it again. And that's going to make a whole nother pattern. So it's like, this is a pattern. And then because I'm doing it as stripes, 
and repeating it, it's making it a whole nother pattern. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in and I think for these other areas, for these ones, I'm going to do a heart pattern. So I'm going to make a bunch of hearts, almost like I did for the sprinkles. And then we will be able to color in our background on these. So I'm going to get these finished and colored in and then we'll glue them to our backgrounds. All right, so I have finished my mittens and you can glue your mittens down however you would like. You can glue them like this. I think I'm going to glue them kind of like this, like at an angle. So you want to flip it around. I'm going to put this one down first. And you can see I added in a few different patterns. And I'm going just around the outside of my mitten. A thin line of glue. Got some on the table. And then I'm going to squish, 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 squish onto my background. So this is a pattern, one more. I repeated these for a pattern. I kind of wanted to leave this part white just because I thought it looked nice as like a little highlight. So you're gonna end up having at least three different patterns on your glove. But if you wanna sneak in more, that'd be great. And we have our pattern background. Now I'm gonna add my other glove, maybe going like this way. Maybe move this one down. And just like that, we have our pattern mittens all finished. We have our pattern background. I'm going to glue down some areas that are hanging up. We have the patterns on our mittens. I can't wait to see how yours come out, and I will see you all next time. Have a wonderful rest of your morning, your evening, your afternoon, whenever you're watching this. Bye!